I don't want to root for people, but I, um, I was kind of rooting for Deshaun Watson because I root for people who have put the work in and have succeeded. And I like to see people who care, who work hard, and who are passionate be rewarded. I mean, that's the way the world should work, right? Like, if you put in more time and you're more successful, the world's a better place if you succeed. Not a guy who cherry picks, not a guy who, you know, has got influential friends, a guy that's really good on LinkedIn and Facebook and knows somebody who's knows somebody. The way the order should work in this country is if a woman works really hard and she goes to school and she commits and she – then she should get the job over somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. That's a better world, right? That's, that's, the, that's the direction it should work for all of us. You put in the time, you get rewarded. Deshaun Watson did nothing except put in time and succeed over the last several years. A lot of pressure on him, big games, program loaded up on him. They asked a lot of him, needed total commitment, and all Deshaun Watson did was deliver. That's rooting for him. But I wasn't rooting for Deshaun Watson to go number one. How did I lead my show yesterday? The number one spot for a quarterback, overrated. Deshaun Watson, the kid I was rooting for, won the draft. He doesn't go like Mitch Trubisky to Chicago with a bad roster, a defensive head coach historically awful franchise in cold, windy weather in a division with Aaron Rodgers, a perennial winner. No, no, no. Deshaun Watson, who slid in the draft, goes to Houston with a great roster, terrific targets, warm weather, and a head coach who's good with quarterbacks. Trubisky goes to a division with a perennial winner. Houston is arguably the perennial winner in their division. Trubisky gets $29 million, Watson only 13 But look around the league, folks. Who are the richest quarterbacks? Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. You do realize none got rich on their first contract. They got rich on their second and third contract. Deshaun Watson was the winner yesterday because he didn't go first. And that's the way society should work. He got the better roster, the better organization, the better head coach offensively, the better weather, the better weapons in an easier division historically, and much less pressure. His team hadn't, his team, they're not even going to ask him to start. They like Tom Savage, and Tom Savage is okay. You can make the playoffs with Tom Savage. You're not going to win a Super Bowl, but Tom Savage with that roster and that coach, you can win a division, especially that division. Chicago has no chance to win the division, but they gave up draft picks and took him number two, and therefore fans are going to demand it. The winner in last year's draft was not Jared Goff. It was Paxton Lynch. Paxton went 28th, and we all felt bad for him, but he got Denver's defense, John Elway, historically great run franchise. Jared Goff got Jeff Fisher, massive pressure, and a franchise in flux. Aaron Rodgers dropped in the first round. He's in the middle of a five-year, $110 million deal with 54 large guaranteed. Alex Smith dropped. And despite being a B quarterback, he's in the middle of a four-year, $68 million deal. The winner yesterday was the guy who deserved to win as a quarterback. Deshaun Kaiser, one year inconsistent. Trubisky, one year, couldn't beat out a guy who didn't get drafted. Deshaun Watson... And this is the way the world should work. Got a break yesterday. And he earned every ounce of it. Good luck to him. And what a place to go. Warm weather, offensive coach, amazing roster, tons of weapons, and no immediate pressure. 